Interesting. The cognitive matrix is establishing new neural connections. Why is it happening, Professor? It's too soon to say, but it appears the ship of understanding is evolving. How shall we proceed then, Professor? Just monitor what's happening for now and keep me updated on significant changes. Acknowledged, Professor. Finally! So we're making progress. Whoever was pulling the strings while you were in charge tried to cover their tracks, but they left crumbs behind. I wish we had some clue as to who they were. One step at a time, boss. I know. Patience is a virtue and all that. Well! What did you find? There are fragments of Project Clarity in here. How is that in the system here? Project Clarity was something the Professor was working on before he created the Ship of Understanding. I don't know, but it was buried deep in an encrypted archive. Make a copy so I can take it to him and see what he can say about it. Backing the files up now, boss. This is the worst fanboy hit I've seen in years. The war between the Microsoft and Sony fanboys is getting out of hand. With the Xbox One reportedly not doing as well as the PS4, I'm afraid things are gonna get worse. Sadly, I have to agree. All this stems from Microsoft's poor start. That debacle with the DRM and then the Kinect? It burned a lot of bridges. That was only a couple of years ago, though. It was, but Microsoft never really recovered. And couple that with their lack of exclusives. You also have fanboys who are pissed the PC is getting Xbox games, too. Ugh, and there is that, too. But let's be realistic here. Consoles are beginning to lose their appeal. The console market has peaked. The number of people playing games and consoles hasn't grown as much as it used to. A larger majority of gamers have gone to the PS4 or PC, leaving not as many in the Xbox camp. And the number of new people coming in is a slow trickle. A lot of that is driven by economics. Not as many people can afford a game console. That doesn't mean the PS4 fanboys are jumping with joy, though. They're mad about mandatory installs for games and the fact the PS4 Pro wasn't that big a leap in performance. So both sides are stomping mad, and both sides hate PC gamers. I know, a few have called out for actual physical violence against those they consider the enemy. It's getting out of control. Don't sweat it, Chief. Remember, these guys are just a minority, and their numbers are shrinking. Yeah, they're loud and obnoxious, but most people are getting tired of the hate. True. I shouldn't lose hope that we'll get through this. We can help things along. Education is the best way to deal with zealots. And if they don't listen, Ignore them. They hate being ignored. Hey, that's good advice, Officer Torun. That's what I'm here for, Chief. The guy that was hit, he was a mobile gamer. Yes, mobile gaming has been eating into the console market for a while now. Overseas, in the Far East, mobile gaming has dominance. Yeah. Console sales in Japan and Korea are really dropping. While PC and mobile sales in Japan and Korea have gone up. 
Things are changing, and we all know how some people hate change. Some will fight violently just to keep things the way they are. That's what I believe the fanboys think they're doing. They think they're fighting a war to preserve their way of life. Then things like this will become a more common occurrence. We need to be ready. This war is going to get worse.